Hey, how's it going, dudes? Select your password! <laughs> Welcome back. We'll pick up where we left off in round 7 of Monster Party for part 4 of the Monster Party playthrough. Whoop. So, um, that guy right there, he's not a boss, he's just a regular enemy, but, um, he, um, in the Japanese version was based off of Jason and they kind of reduced his resemblance and also I think they reduced the amount of hits that it takes to kill him believe it or not um, he, um, he actually takes way more if you remember um, when I played through the prototype version last year, he actually takes way more hits to kill. Let's see if we can um, maybe farm up a few hearts here. Yeah, this might be a good opportunity to farm up some hearts. I wonder if um, going up and down a screen will reset the, um, the counter on how many hearts that you've obtained from these enemies. Oh yeah, by the way, check this out. So, um, I pulled up an image here. This is, for comparison, this is what um, he looks like in the Japanese prototype version. So you can see they obviously um, tweaked his mask significantly to reduce any problems with uh, copyright infringement on Friday the 13th. Whoa, he kind of faked me out there. Also, yeah, they did... Um, they did reduce the amount of hits, for sure, that it takes to kill him. Just like kind of some keep away here. And off we go. Back up to the next screen and back down. Um, also, check this out. Okay, so, there we go, that's a little bit better view. Um, another enemy that they changed, they, um, for the most part, left the normal enemies alone, but this stage had um, a lot of changes to the regular enemies besides just the bosses. So, um, check this out right here. Here's a reference. Um, so, that right there, the enemy that, um, that I'm facing right now, that is what it looked like in the Japanese prototype version. It, um... Is basically a Zhang Shi, um, which is a Chinese hopping spirit. It's something that is um, endemic to Chinese folklore, but since you know Americans generally don't know what that is, they changed it to just a, um, a generic ghost for the U.S. version. A generic ghost who likes to knock me off of platforms. Always fun. Elephant Man had a very slight alteration, but not as much. Um, we'll get back to him in a second. Oh, also, um, in the um, in the prototype version, uh, Mr. Jason here takes like 48 hits to kill. In the U.S. version, he only takes eight. So they drastically reduced the number of hits that. It requires to kill him. We'll check out the Elephant Man's alteration in just a second. Okay, so here he is in the prototype version. Um, as you can see, not real different. Um, mainly what they did was they made one of his eyes visible in the US version. And Mr. Elephant Man needs to give up his bones so that I can extract some hearts from them. I 
hate how he kind of just changes directions on a whim sometimes. I don't know why I even bother with him. I should just ignore him, but I feel compelled to defeat him. Ah, he stopped dropping hearts. I wonder if Jason did too. Fake out. Yep. Alright, time to move on. Bug. Get those stupid flying enemies. You know, now Jason's gonna join in the party. I think I know what to do here. Get over just enough so I can hit him. Ah, oh, really? The hit detection doesn't pick up. That sucks. Okay, fine. Oh, nice. I don't know if that's worth farming because there's that stupid flying enemy in here. So we may just kind of ignore that one. that because I'm going to tilt the camera just a bit here. I've actually got a door over here. I'm Royce. So I don't think this boss was really changed from the Japanese version. He likes to roll up in a ball. And conveniently get out of the range of my hit detection. Pretty easy boss, though. Just the way I like it. <laughs> Stupid flyers. They're the worst. Takes less shots to kill him as Bert, probably because of the overlapping projectiles. I'll take advantage of it while I can. Aha! The good times never end with Bert pills. Okay, let's check this one out. Uh, come again, empty boss room. Good, I needed that. Kind of feeling like I, like I might need to farm up some health here. Or maybe not. <laughs>
too bold there. himself. rooms where the programmers just like to screw around with you. <laughs> like, oh, see how you enjoy this. Great. Thanks. Thanks, guys. You're the best. That's not the one I was hitting before. Oh, yep, that's... Totally the, the direction that I wanted to hit in. Thank you so much. Not being too kind to me on the health power ups. Oh, so now you decide to hit me. Okay, thanks. Welcome. Entrance to hell. This is kind of an interesting one. Alright, this will be a good place to pause here. Oh, one other quick thing. Um, while, uh, we're on, while we were on the subject of the normal enemies before I move on to this boss change, Here's one other fun fact. Um, this is one that I missed earlier. Um, the vampire enemy from the previous uh, cave level, um, it uh, was changed from basically looking like uh, Dracula to being more bat-like. So that was kind of an interesting change too. This boss is totally different in the prototype version. So as you can see here, it is actually based on the alien from Aliens, and it spits, uh, if we can zoom in, uh, face huggers at you. Instead of, um, you know, in the US version, it's got the pink, the little pink skull, but in the prototype version, it's face huggers. So that boss is very different. Moving right along. We're probably going to have to redo this one. Okay, let's try this again. With more flair this time. Gotcha. out the flying enemy straight away. <laughs> straight away.
Oh, by the way, this time when I played back through again, I skipped the Caterpillar boss. Um, for reasons I'll explain momentarily. I'll suck all your blood again. This one is quite fascinating. So this boss essentially replaces an unfinished boss in the prototype that is not even normally enabled. Um, I had to apply a special patch that basically hacks it back into the prototype version so you can fight what they finished of it. Um, but this is the boss. It's a totem boss. If I can zoom in here. Um, it looks like a totem pole. It's got different faces on it. Um, so uh, they were working on that for the Japanese prototype version, but they never finished it. And when they were making the U.S. version, instead of, for some reason, instead of finishing the totem pole boss, they put in um, a version 2 of the spider boss, which, as you can see, he's got like a little Roman numeral 2 on his back. There were also some unused faces. Like, as you can see here, there's three extra faces that um, weren't used, even... Um, even when you hack the unfinished uh, boss back into the prototype, it doesn't use those three extra faces on the right. So that's a rather interesting note as well. Lastly, uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention here was that um, I, uh, just a moment ago, I referred to skipping the Caterpillar boss. Um, the reason why I did that was because um, if you'll recall in the prototype version, um, I said the uh, totem boss wasn't finished. So um, since they uh, hadn't finished the, the totem boss in the prototype version, what they did was they made it where you only had to defeat two bosses to get the key to exit the level. Well, when they were working on the US version, um, they kept the two bosses from the Japanese prototype, which is you know the alien, which became the Grim Reaper, and the um, caterpillar which didn't have really any graphical changes, but they did change his dialogue. Some of the other bosses, um, you know, they changed their dialogue as well. Anyway, you had to fight those two bosses in the prototype. The totem pole boss wasn't finished, so uh, he wasn't even really technically in it, per se. Um, so you only had to fight two bosses, then you got the key. Well, in the US version, when they put in the bosses, um, they added this extra spider boss to replace the unfinished totem boss, but they forgot to change the programming in the in the check where um, basically what it does is it checks to see how many bosses you've defeated whenever you, ever you defeat a boss. And if you've defeated exactly two, you get the key to exit the level. But if you defeat all three, you lose the key because you fail the check. You know, it checks to see if there's two and there's three instead of two. So ironically, you lose the key. So um, for being an overachiever, the game actually kind of punishes you unbeknownst to you. So long story short, that is why I did not fight the Caterpillar boss. You really only want to fight two of these bosses, but I wanted you guys to get to see all three of them. So we're really only actually beating the Grim Reaper and the Spider. Hmm, might end up having to play him again. No! Eh. All right, that's okay. All right, I'm in much better shape this time. As you can see, he's pretty much the same as before, just palette change, and they stuck a Roman numeral 2 on him. As always, played through much better this time. You know, as you play through more times, you develop better strategies. And, uh... You know, a lot of times, your first attempt is kind of more rough around the edges. You get sharper the more you play a level. To an extent, at least. You know, if you have to play it too much, you might start getting fatigued and burned out, but within reason. Okay, that's annoying. These guys must take more than one hit to kill. They didn't before, but now they seem like they do. Either that or 
Somehow the hit detection is failing me here. Take that. Punk. Alright, this almost certainly has to be an empty boss room, but... Uh, let's see. Might be better to handle it like this. gonna oops forgot you have to jump up here first I kind of skip my way out of that one Yeah, that's not good. No bueno. Ugh. No goodies, eh? He's an elephant, but not a pinata. <laughs> Thing is, I really kind of need a pinata right about now. Jason's AI is exhibiting some strange characteristics, but it worked to my benefit, so I won't argue with it. All right, I think here we have. Can't really see it too well, but ta-da! End of level seven. And a password. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's grab this real quick. And round eight, here we come. We're almost there. It's been a long journey, but we're almost to the very end of the game. Interesting little uh, tidbit here. You can walk backwards in the US version. I think in the Japanese version it starts you out in a different location watch out baby here's what it looked like in the prototype version they didn't really change the graphics but as you can see um he started out in kind of a um a more straightforward sort of pose kind of stretched out long ways in the u.s version they changed it where he's like um he's all you know coiled up in the eye socket which is kind of a interesting de design decision um, may not beat him since we're kind of low-ish on life and, uh, don't have Burt. Probably would have been a better idea, actually, to farm up a Burt capsule, but we're at the very beginning of the level. If we die, it's not like we go back that far, so let's just give it a shot and see what happens. Yeah, he's kind of vicious. I think we need Burt for this guy. That's okay. No problem. Just got to do a little farming. <laughs> of course. First one. Okay. Let's try this again. Dang, he's just all over you. He's a little bit less aggressive if you stand on the right side, so I got him that way. Moving along. <laughs> Flying sticks of dynamite. Gotta love it. Empty. It's facing the wrong direction. Oh, well. As I recall, like, I think 
Oh, I think what you actually are supposed to do is like reflect the star, the falling star back up at the, um, yeah. If you hit the falling star back up at it at the correct angle, I think it destroys it. There we go. Yeah, that's that's the preferred way to take those out. Boy, those guys are really annoying. Face my wrath. <laughs> this guy I don't believe was really changed. And I'll probably have to fight him again. I'm pretty low in life. This stage will probably take a little practice. Alright, let's try him again. Gotcha that time. That's more like it. her but she was actually but she was the one that gave me the burp pill ah this could be bad okay it's getting pretty dire Need some health power-ups. Yeah, it didn't kill her. You must have to reflect the projectile back at her. Oh well. Okay, if I didn't get this one before, this one right here is empty. Ooh, I need that. Crap. Ugh. These are so annoying on this level. Okay, this is the third boss for the level. Not a big change on this one. In the prototype version, as you can see here, you have to look closely to be able to tell the difference. Uh, but he's floating above the ground. Um, as you can see in the US version, he's touching the ground. So basically what that means is, in the Japanese prototype, you have to jump up to hit him. But on the US version, you can hit him while you're on the ground, which uh, in a way makes him easier to fight. So, he's kind of nasty. Probably have to fight him again. Yeah, oh well, it's okay. Okay, let's give this guy another go, shall we? Gotcha. Yes, now we're ready for the final boss. I don't know if I don't get murdered by dynamite. <laughs> Like, nope. <laughs> I'll have to walk through that one because of the height. Yes, really needed that. Thank you. That's uncharacteristically generous. The best way to deal with these things, if you can, is to reflect one of the stars up at the constellation and destroy it with one hit. But the angles are not going to play nice with us here, so we just have to keep adjusting till we get it right. Oh, that was close. Or we could just make a run for it. The thing is, I wanted to try to be conservative with my life, but... Is 
just kind of deliberately being really annoying. Not so much for being conservative with my- aww. Really. And there's the end. Oh, nice little blitz at the end. Ta-da! You beat everybody. Hold on. Okay, so differences here. Here's the Japanese prototype. Um, as you can see, there's uh, no protective covering over the nose. Um, Mark's palette is messed up in the prototype. They made an error in his palette and it causes him to look blue instead of his normal color. Um, there's some differences in the vulnerability periods on the boss and um, palette when you defeat the boss. It freezes on the boss flash when you defeat the boss in the prototype version. So it looks like that. In the US version, I think it just goes to black, but let's check it out. Beat me and you can leave. Come and die. Oh. Okay, we're going to have to retry this. Oh, seriously, you have to replay the whole level? That sucks. So I figured out a nice little trick on this boss. Um, and Actually, it works well on the first boss, too. If you run over to the right-hand corner and duck down on the first boss, he can't hit you as much. On this boss, if you duck down, he can't hit you at all. So that saved a lot of life. All right. Check out how much health I got this time. I saved diligently. So, <clears throat> let's see if we can take this guy down. Come on, you gotta open your nose sometime. Yes! I got him! Awesome! And here's the ending to the US version. Mark destroyed the monsters. Bert gave him a gift. And Mark went home. He excitedly opened the box. He got a loot crate from Bert. A beautiful princess came out. But suddenly, the princess became a monster, and more monsters followed her. Mark was scared and screamed. Mark was awakened by his mom. You'll be late! It was a dream. I'm leaving! Mark opened the door. Bert was there. He whispered to Mark. Let's go again. The end. Definitely one of the creepiest and most um, bizarre and unique endings to an NES game. That was pretty edgy back then. 
And so there you have it. Voila, Monster Party. Presented by Bandai and Shinsei. We did it! So now I can say that I've beaten both the Japanese and the US version of Monster Party. Not too shabby, eh? I think it basically just stays on this screen after you beat the game until you reset. So. Ah. It's nice to be able to sit back, relax, and enjoy a job well done. Thank you guys for tuning in and for checking out the Monster Party Saga. Boy, it's been a long saga, eh? Covering two years and two different versions of the game. Pretty comprehensive look at Monster Party. Well, thank you guys. It's been a fun ride. And we'll see you next mission.